Hello from Taj Mahal and Medics. I've got a Mini Cooper here on a 2012 plate. Now this is what it is. If you've got something like this. Now you've got a warning light on the dash saying the bulb's out. First thing first, you check all the bulbs. Now in this case, you've got the stop lamp not working. The middle one's not working. I mean, this one that there is working on the passenger side, but the middle one and then this one isn't working. The tool you need is a T25 Torx. And all you've got to do is undo this little screw right here. I'll just show you. I think this this is the most easiest one that I've, I've come across basically so undo the screw once the screw is out the bulb you need is a 3A2 bulb um, because you've got a separate position lamp right in the middle there and the brake lamp uh, is on the top all you then do is pull the whole thing out so this comes out now you've got to undo this plug right here if you just bear me one second and when I stopped working, all I did was just touched it and now it's working. I'm still going to change the brake, uh, brake light bulb anyway. Can you just take, uh, take the foot off the brake, please? That is quite tight. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to undo it from, I'm going to unclip it from here. Come here one sec, please. Hold the camera right there. Yep. yep. So you push this in, this little clip in, and the plug comes out. The whole thing is in your hand now. So what I need to do is I need to do the top one here. It is quite tight, so I squeeze in. It's not doing it. So I think it's got a bit of a, bit of a rust around it. So that's coming out nice and easy. It's just that top one isn't coming out. There must be a problem with this uh, light itself. Right, that is the weirdest thing. You can see in the inside there, something stopping it. So I'm just going to clean that area up and then try to undo it now. Still needs a little more cleaning. I mean, imagine if I'm having trouble with this. So you guys are going to be dealing with the same thing, possibly. Or you may not even have this problem. But I've got this problem. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to... If you look right on the inside there, that's stopping it. So if you look here, it's quite flush. So this comes out. And the bulb comes out as well so that's how easy it is to replace it but on, on on the top one there there's a problem right across there so what i'm going to do i'm going to clean that up i think it's just got a bit hot and then uh it's molding away so what i'm going to do i'm going to clean that area up and then and then un uh, take the bulb holder out so i'm going to pause the video here for a minute right i got it out now what it was, it was this around this area here, it's burnt out, so that's what was stopping the bulb to come out. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sand this down a little bit to make sure it's nice and easy now. So if you look at it, it goes in, but it's a bit tight. You can still turn it, but I'm gonna make it a lot more cleaner, and then that's it. So I'm gonna just take this out again. So, the bulb you need is a 3A2 bulb, which is right here. You'll find a link for it in the description. So if you did want one, you'll find one there. Just gonna put the new bulb in. I'm just gonna put this back on just to try see if the brakes are working. So there's only one way this would go as well. So if you've got this little lug right here, so this is an open end, and that's a smaller end right there. So you put it in, once, you, once, once it goes in, you push, and then turn to your right. We're just gonna now check, see, make sure the lights are working. So press 
what I'm going to do, I'm just going to turn the brakes on to make sure it's, it's working. Right, is it working? Oh, sorry, ignition on. Is it working now? That's lovely. Okay, that's all it was to put it back together as well. So all you do, you got that bit there, which sort of kind of slots in, in an angle, and then goes forward, and then clicks in. And all you then do is put the screw on. So what I'm going, to, I'm not going to put it back together for uh, for the for the reason where we had trouble with uh, taking the ball holder out. I'm going to clean that clean that up, put it back together as well. But if you do do have a problem trying to take the bulb holder out, just, just look around the area, if, if it's got a bit of a lump, just clean it off and then uh, pull the holder out, that should do the trick. And if there's anything else you need to know, comment us below, we'll try helping you as much as we can. This is a 2012 Mini Cooper and uh, there'll be a playlist as well for it, so bulb changes and stuff like that and there'll be a link uh, for, the, for the bulb as well. Thanks for watching, goodbye.